Good day everyone. Hope you have a lovely day. And uh, it's Saturday. We need to fix something. We have this laptop. Let me adjust my webcam. Uh, just a moment. Yeah, better. We have this laptop. This laptop is coming from um, another another repair shop. So yeah, it came like this. I didn't check anything. The laptop came in as no power. So we have to fix this. This is some kind of pro line. I don't know the exact model of pro line. So the back cover is missing. The customer just to bring the laptop like this and the charger. We do have the charger here. So without wasting time, let's check the charger voltage. What voltage do we have on the charger? That's the first step. Check on the screen. 12.41. The charger is good. Plug in the charger. We must have some light. Nothing. No light. Even if I try to power on the laptop. The switch is on the keyboard here. The laptop is dead. No any sign of light. Mm? So, where can you start fixing this? Some kind of small motherboard. Mm? Obvious, no schematics, no board view, no anything. So, what do we have here? We do have the, ba the battery, like two cells. That's the keyboard. We have the charging port. So let's check for voltage on the charging port. We must have 12 volts. This is a 12 volts charger. So the main power rail must be 12 volts. And straight on the charging port, you can see the voltage. What about on those on end power supply? On this power supply, we have zero. Hmm? I'm checking on the ceramic capacitors around the power supply. On the input of each and every power supply, we must have the main power, power line. Hmm? We must have the main voltage, which is 12 volts. So the 12 volts is missing. So what is the next step? You know, job from other technicians, they tried so many things here. What about the voltage on the battery? Hmm? Zero point four three. This doesn't look good. Zero point. Okay. Let's play with the power supply. And see if this battery is taking anything. Yeah, the battery is charging. So this is just a highly discharged battery. But you can see it's taking 3.3 amps. Okay. But uh, let's disconnect the battery. The battery is highly discharged. I understand that. But there is something which I don't understand. Where my 12 volts power rail is, is, is going. Because I only see 12 volts here on the charging port. And no voltage on the rest of the motherboard. Hmm? That must be an issue of concern hmm? 12 volts hmm? and this looks different i can't see like a path two mosfets current sensor i can't see anything here Huh? 
Oh, what I can see is this MOSFET between the charging port and the USB port. And I'm not sure whether this MOSFET is for the USBs or is for the charging port. Anyway, I bought this nice USB, uh, this nice DC adapter uh, on AliExpress. It's very cheap, less than $10, less than $15, I guess. And you can see all the ads. We have like a, for Lenovo, HP Big Bean. Even the HP blue pin here. Hmm? This is beautiful. So I need to write. Let's find the right port for this laptop. I need to see. How this laptop is behaving. With the power supply. I think this is the right adapter. So all what you need to do is to plug the adapter. Now this is new. I never used this. This came yesterday. I ordered it through AliExpress and the uh, here in Zimbabwe is taking something like two to three weeks to 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 arrive. So connecting the power supply. Power supply twelve volts. Let's go exactly twelve volts. Very low current, around the uh, 1.5 volts, 1.5 amps, 12 volts, 1.5 amps. I need to see if there's any change with the power supply. It's not. It's not right to trust the customer's charger. Hmm? It's taking like uh, three milliamps to pressing the power. I can't see anything. Still zero. Okay, so what to do at this moment? Let's check out the motherboard. Let's check out the motherboard. Oh, that's the motherboard, nothing on the other side of the board. Let's play with the motherboard. So that the motherboard. And on the other side, do you have any component here? No, we don't have component. We only have this MOSFET next to the charging port, which I believe Yes, any yes, something to do with the the input circuit, but we'll see. We'll see. So what do we have here? Twelve volts on this MOSFET. Zero on the other side of the MOSFET. We have 12 volts. On the other side, we have zero. Hmm? Let's go under microscope. One second. 
Let's check together under microscope. Hmm? What is here? I'm trying to focus the microscope. Let me focus the microscope one second. Let's see now. So what do you have here? We do have this charging port. You can see this charging port. That's the charging port. And uh, here, we have 12 volts here. We have this MOSFET. This MOSFET, and this is the input of the MOSFET. We do have na 12 volts. On the output, we have zero. And you can see, it's going on the other side. And uh, here, we have another second MOSFET. Okay. And after the second MOSFET, the voltage is going everywhere. So let's check some power. Let's check where the 12 volts is ending. We do have 12 volts. 12 volts on the output is zero. Huh? Let's unplug the charger. So, yeah, this is something new. So, you have to understand. Checking again on the charging port 12 volts on the input of this first MOSFET. On the output, zero. On the gate, we have zero. Okay. This looks like the second MOSFET. Obvious, we have zero. Let's unplug the charger. Diet mode, let's check the second MOSFET. So this is the input of the second. The input is not shorted. But if I'm to check the output. The output is shorted. Hmm? So. Why? That's understand why the first MOSFET is not driving the power. Because the motherboard is shorted. And we have to find out why. Why. And where is the short? We have to find out where is the short. Hmm? So injecting 12 volts here. Voltage drop and it's taking. 1.5 amps. So let's raise the current. 3 amps. Hmm? Three amps. I can't feel anything. Huh? Raising the current again. Four amps. Yeah. 
It's good for one to have a theme or camera. Hmm? The CPU is not getting what? The controller ITE is not getting what? So where is the culprit here? 5 M's. Hmm? You know the the current to play with five amps. Pushing prime five amps on this small board, I can't feel any heat. Hmm? Oh. What can be the problem here? Let's check these capacitors here. This capacitor is reading a short. This one is reading a short. And uh, I checked here again. We have those guys which I believe they are connected to the main 19 volt, main 12 volts power line. Huh? By the thing, the capacitors are not getting old. Let's take this MOSFET on the other side of the board, this one. Because in, sometimes if the first MOSFET is not driving the power, I found in many laptops the second MOSFET will be misbehaving. Oh, what I need is flux. Let's check out this MOSFET. I can't see what is getting what. That's the thing. But at all costs, the motherboard has to be repaired. The MOSFET is out. And the main power rail is too shorted. Hmm? That's bad. That's very bad. We put back the MOSFET 
so can we just take those five capacitors which are reading a short i think we can let's start with these two The first two capacitors are out. No. We are on the wrong direction. Hmm? We took the capacitors for nothing. We took those capacitors for nothing. Hmm? Where's the other one? We just took the capacitors for nothing. Hmm? So what is the shorted component here? Hmm? An idea. Yeah, we have three more reading short. I'm confused, honestly. Checking again for short. Hmm? This motherboard. Hmm? Why? Let's go to the first MOSFET. We need to jump that first MOSFET and see if that can solve the problem. Obvious not to solve the problem as yes, to fix the motherboard, but to solve the problem by seeing where our shot is. Let's see, we've opened the first MOSFET.
Let's check some point here. And you still have a short, even on the capacitors. So, yeah. We have to dig more. We have to dig more. So, yeah, this is a challenge to me. I didn't know that uh, short to ground can be so complicated. I, ch I took out all the capacitors. They are reading a short. I couldn't find the problem. And uh, we still have a shorted main 12 volts power line. You can see the multimeter is beeping zero zero. This is this, this is the, the output of the second MOSFET. I took out even the first MOSFET. I bridge it with the with a solder. But it's still it's not helping anything. Hmm? So let's do some further checkings. Hmm? Let's do some further checkings here. What do we have here? We have this capacitor. Is shorted. This one is shorted. Huh? Even these are shorted. We have like a bunch of pa ceramic capacitors, but some they are not shorted for the simple reason that they are not connected on the main 19 volts power line. Let's inject power again. More liquid. Let's inject power. Why? Check here. I think the problem is here. Hmm? I think that's where the problem is. Let's took out those small capacitors here. Those three capacitors, small capacitors. I think that's where one capacitor is shorted to ground here. Hmm? I took the center one, which is the suspect. Let's check again. I never thought like a, to have a, a complicated job on a Saturday. And the shot is gone, you can see. If I'm to check on those capacitors which I checked before, here, not shorted, not shorted, hmm? and on the other side, we have those ones. We checked here, there was a short before. You see this? So the short is gone. So our problem was just a capacitor. Hmm? Was just a capacitor.
We need to dry up the board. I'm not going even to replace that capacitor. Because I'm very disappointed. Wasting time. Hmm? Need to dry the board quickly. Let's wait for the board to cool down and then we can test, okay? Yeah, I think our board is now cool. Okay. So those uh, ceramic capacitor, I did let's check a few things before we test. Of course, we don't have a shot anymore, but I want to see... If it's connecting here... They are connecting here and so those capacitors they are connected to all the main 12 volts power line. So we took one here. You see those small guys? One, two. We took the center one here. Which was shorted. So I think we are ready to test. Hmm? I think we are ready to test. I never found like a complicated job replacing a capacitor. I think this is a good moment to find a thermal camera. But the thing, I don't have money to buy a thermal camera as for now, but probably I'll grab one in the future. So I need to test the motherboard. Hmm? Taking out random components to find a shot. But I injected f like 5 amps checking on the motherboard. I can't feel any heat. Hmm? Yeah, this wasn't a, an easy repair for me. Now is that moment to see if we have a working laptop. That's all what I want to see. If the laptop is working, we are fine. I'll plug the battery. I'll plug the keyboard connector. This looks like it's the touchpad. Uh, I don't need the charge. I need the power supply. I don't need the charger. What kind of... It's 12 volts, 2 amps. So I'll, I'll set the power supply exactly that voltage. 12 volts, 2 amps. Let's lower this current, which is too high. Let's connect the power supply. Hmm? We have black wire. Black on the minus and the plus. And it's taking exactly two amps. Hmm? Let me see. It's 11.99. Voltage dropped to 10.5 volts and it's taking two amps. It means the laptop is charging. But I can't see any charging light on this side. That's a good sign. Hmm? It means the laptop is charging. So, again, again, Uh, 
and it's taking two amps. I can't see the charging light, but it's, it's charging power on. I can see the LED here. Huh? Let's wait. You can see that blue LED. Don't tell me there's no picture. Pro line. And it's working. Huh? It is working. Huh? All right, all right. I know, I know, I know. I know. We, we took out the hard drive, and the hard drive is missing. So, obvious, it can't load operating system. And the battery is charging. Check here. It's taking around 2 amps. Because that's the current limit that we set on this laptop. So, yeah, that was a tricky repair. I can see on my OBS around 30, 36 minutes trying to fix short to grounds. Usually short to grounds, I don't take too long, too much time because the, the fault is obvious. So we took out many components because we don't have thermal camera. Maybe if I was holding a thermal, thermal camera, it was going to be easy. So that was just a shorted capacitor on the main 12 volts power line. This is a pro line. It's working on 12 volts charger. Okay? It's not 19 volts. So, yeah. I'll stop this video now. Obviously, I'll put it all together. Or maybe we can put the hard drive just for testing. Let's power off the laptop. It is off. We do have the hard drive from the customer. Let's see, set the hard drive and see if the laptop is reading the, the hard drive. Let's see with the hard drive plugged in. Power on. On. Yeah, I can hear the sound of the hard drive is spinning. Yeah, let's just wait. Pro line. I think they reset the BIOS here. Hmm? How do we get into the BIOS menu? Hmm? So how do we get into the BIOS menu? Hmm? An idea. How we are getting into the BIOS menu? Because I think we need to change few settings. So that the the laptop will detect the hard drive. Power on. Let's try with the escape. Yeah, it is escape. Uh, where do you want to go? Select boot mode. 
let's change to Lagos and see. A four seven ex exit. Let's see if it's loading Windows. And it's loading Windows. You can see? It's loading Windows. So, yeah, this job is done. That was a trick repair. Trying to find the inv invisible shot to ground. Hmm? So, how is everyone? Hope everyone is fine. People, they are fixing things. Uh, I'm also fixing, but these days I'm fixing many devices off camera. And uh, I'm happy. I bought a nice jacket. You can see this electronic jacket. I bought it on, Al on AliExpress. And uh, I bought also a film extractor. Maybe you can see it, this one. Someone advised me that you should use a firm extractor to take out the smoke. It's not healthy to inhale all the smokes when you are doing soldering jobs. And uh, I thank you, my subscriber. I was not aware of such kind of things. I found one. And uh, we shall use this firm film extractor in all kind of jobs there's no user password everything is working fine hmm? so i'll stop this video like subscribe don't forget to turn on the notification bell for future updates obvious i'll give to the owner because this is coming from another repair shop i'll give them they will assemble the laptop and return back to the customer. What about replacing the capacitor? No, we are not doing that today. Because there are three capacitors connected in a parallel mode. And every power supply on a laptop, on the input, we have some ceramic capacitors to prevent spikes. To ensure that the 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 input voltage is smooth into the power supply so even if we took out one the next power supply will still have ceramic capacitors so we are safe besides that even on the customer's charger hmm, there's a lot of protection on the laptop but that's not the issue the issue is how we found the the, the fault so See you on the next one. Bye.